Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Let's Play. I decided to start up again because the previous one, it was only one episode short, but uh, I don't know, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the progression and I wanted to try something different. I wanted to really try something different. I had a very cool idea. So I decided to, to start a new one. This is, uh, the seed is called Let's Play. We're playing on hard, hence the 12 million. And I uh, also wanted the additional challenge because um, I just want a little bit more fun. And wow, this is very nice. I didn't even notice. Is it? No, it's not. I thought it was wood, but it's not. So what I'm going to be doing this round is... Uh, oh no, we have fuel and we have that, so we can produce fuel pretty quickly. What we're going to be doing now is... I'm going to be creating a, a massive uh, just truck and bus routes all over the place. What I'm going to try to do, which I think is pretty cool, is create a sort of central hub. So trying to use the least amount of roads possible so I'd connect it to here and then I'd go over and then I'd go over so I think we could create it like somewhere here I'm not exactly sure how this will work but uh, I'm very interested to see it work <laughs> let me put it this way so uh, literally I'm gonna be having a, a central bus hub here That'll be transporting and moving things all over the place. So air, all the passengers are going to be going in the center. And then they're going to be moving to the designated towns. And with 12 million, I think I'm, I'm not sure I could push it. What I could do is I could start off with two and see what happens. So uh, I'm not sure if this is the 51. Let's tie right up. No, it's not. What about the 61? It's the 61, great. So we can continue then with the 61. So I see it like something like around here. So how will this work? Well, these guys will move down here. And then these guys will move from here across this to that. Why? It's because of that. To that, and then down, and then that is down. So we're literally going to try to make a bus bus hub and then transport everyone to the bus hub. And then uh, let everyone uh, move around as they wish from that bus hub. So these guys probably gonna go across and then to there and then these guys are gonna connect up to this place here maybe I'm throwing a little bit too much money around and I should just focus on what I need let's screw it and they can go up and then connect to that the only thing what I don't like is that these guys are going to be using the same road, so now I'm going to veer it off to there. And then we can leave that. So there we go. So these guys are going to be coming from down here, these guys are going to be coming from here, these guys from here, these guys from there. And uh, Midland's going to be coming also from up here. So they'll probably be using this route, I'm not so sure. Maybe if I put a direct route in the center, it should be fine. So that being said, I'm going to have to start, unfortunately, I'm going to have to connect up the roads because I can't really envision all the connections until I have them. Something like that. So as long as all the stations connect between each other, we're good. So this is the the bus line fairing this is that one this is that one and then we have Midland Midland can stay here I don't think they need to walk so far, honestly. I'll try to make it a little bit closer. I'll try to make it a little bit closer. 
So we'll go with that. And then Erie goes there, goes across. It can stop off here. And then uh, Greensboro. Greensboro we have. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Maybe it would have been better to to make a large bus station altogether, because that would allow the, the the multiple dropping off as well. So let's do that then. Let us do that. Let's directly do that. So we're gonna have the large bus. No, there we go. Large bus stop. One. No, don't give me another one. Two. Three. Large bus station. Four, and then I think from here we're gonna have one more. Yeah, I never seen anyone do this, and I don't even know if it's gonna be viable. Technically, it should be. And since the towns are still small, I'm not gonna be making the the outside loop to move them from the center out because they're tiny. I'm just gonna take it directly from the center towns, and then as they grow, I'll just move them out. And uh, let's just see if this works. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, Let's take a look at where all the residentials are, because we mainly need to cover cover the residentials. So there's that. Where's that? that and there's that for Erie only this one's left this is what I don't like in the beginning they're very mixed up all the commerce and residence and everything else it's a little bit of a mess and then theoretically I just need one road depot now tell me this isn't cool, this isn't something new. So theoretically, here we go. So uh, it's 157,000. So let's uh, make it 150 to make it easier. Which is 300 for 2, 600 for 4, 900 for uh, 6. Did I get that right? So we're going to start off 6 a pop, I think for every single line. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go, set line, new line. From there, now we gotta get these right, or we're gonna cause a little bit of chaos, because I don't, I don't want them to intersect between each other. So that is the first batch of six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. A new batch of six. From there to there, right? And then hold on, hold on. Close that. Oh, and plus we could even we could take in the towns from far, but no, no, no. So far, let's just stick to these and, and, and see if it even works, because I have no idea if it's going to work. Uh, buy road vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, set line. Move it to the side, set line. New line. This one. To this one. And we could even join this guy, and he's pretty big. And then... Uh, Buy road vehicles, one, two, three, four, five, six, set line. New line, add station. Did I put add station? Uh, I wasn't so sure. So from here to, and we're at five million though, so we gotta be a little bit careful now. To there, right? So that's cool, that's cool as well. And now, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then set line. New line from here to there. So there we go. 
So theoretically, we could reuse these lines and the fuel that we have here, or that we could hypothetically produce, where was it? It was here. Yeah, we could produce fuel there. We could produce fuel here. Wow, there's a lot of things we could produce very close by. Wow, that's really cool. Do we have any food manufacturing close by? So let's uh, let's let this run for a bit. Honestly, I'm very interested to see. Uh, there's quite a lot of uh, trucks that need to pop out of there. So we're going to be transporting everyone to the center, and then they're going to be the the passengers are going to be moving by themselves away uh, to wherever to each of the hypothetical lines, which they should do, and it should hopefully slowly increase. There's wood, and there's the woodcutter, so that's pretty good as well. So we got we got quite a bit happening here, actually. We got quite a bit happening here. We could produce the fuel here and have it sent over this way, but any errors? No, they're just being delayed. Any passengers appearing on the lines? Yes. Yes, yes, and I believe all of these are connected to each other. I can't believe it. It might actually work. That's so cool. I don't know. I just decided to, to do something new, man. It was it's going to be a hell of a lot more fun than just sticking with the, the usual thing that, that I guess everyone else is approaching. And uh, see how far we can go with this. So slowly but gradually, things should start to kick in. And substantially quickly, because we're literally connected. What? One, two, three, four, five cities in one shot. I'd really like to get probably uh, this guy, but it's going to cost me a fortune just to build the road down. Just out of curiosity, how much is it going to cost? Uh, yeah, we're probably going to have to use the same road, which is fine, but how much is it going to cost me? How much is it going to cost? Really? 2.64 million? I don't know, it's it's not so bad. And I could even connect England wood down there. I could connect these three guys, Seattle, everyone else. But I'm not sure if, if Seattle will go the different approach. But for sure this this will cut the, the people going taking the traffic from the, the center lines. Let, let, let me hold on on that. I just wanna see this crank up a little bit before we do any of that well, let's take a look at the capacity of the lines which is more important it's going to take a little bit of time well line four is is booming already and we just started so that that's pretty cool so now you're going to see the people walk into all the intersection change stations that they need uh, we're probably going to be upgrading this road as well I don't know how fast they're able to go on this road, honestly. 30 kilometers only, and this one? 60 kilometers. So yeah, this uh, this is a, a bottleneck here. No. We need the 60 kilometer road at least. Yeah, man, they gotta go at least 60, man. It's too damn slow otherwise. So how are we doing? We're, we're, <laughs> we're nearly full. And we just started. That's pretty cool. It actually works. I'm really surprised. I had no idea that this would work. Well, I did know it would work, but I wasn't like... I just never realized why no one would do this. Because, of course, I get a massive multiplier immediately of, of city growth. S supposedly, again, it's all hypothetical. Who knows what, what the in-game mechanics are, but... Supposedly, this is how it works. So, we're going to plan the, the 2 million road here. And if I just want to make a line... If I'm going to make a line from Seattle, just to see which road they would take from now. Because Seattle, theoretically, the best shortest route would be to do that honestly cut it there and then cut it there like would be to to make uh, i i am gaining a little bit of money so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this do that and then and do i have the the fast buses or not yet i don't think so no i don't have them yet but these guys oh these guys go to 90. Hmm. Maybe I could, maybe I could start to, to splash a little bit of cash. Look at that, 79, 79, 30 from 72. So I'm nearly filled up and we haven't even started. 
Damn, I should have replaced them directly. Uh, I should have replaced them directly with something bigger. The moment they get full, I'm going to replace them with the faster ones. And uh, we're going to move on from there, honestly. But look at this. It's, it's working wonders. Everyone is moving to the station they need to go to. Look at them. Everyone's moving everywhere. This is so cool. This is so cool. I don't know. It's just so hypnotizing watching this. I'm going to stay at it just a little bit longer. It's just amazing to see this work. No idea why the hell. So this one's full. So line five, what we're going to do is I'm going to chuck all the vehicles stop. I'm going to directly sell all the vehicles on line five because we're maxed out. And line four. At this point, technically nearly all of them are maxed out. But line five, we'll start off with it first. So line five, we already have three million. So we're going to sell off all the vehicles on line five. And we're going to get the better vehicles. Uh, by road vehicles, we're gonna get the faster ones. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This time we're gonna give them ten. Set line, line five. Right? Uh, that's gonna cost us a little bit more than expected. Actually, quite a bit more than expected. And uh, we're gonna speed that up a little bit. And what we're gonna slowly start to do, because these vehicles can go at uh, 90 kilometers an hour, we're gonna need to start to upgrade all the roads to go at 100 kilometers an hour. So the best would be to have this road going at a four lane because we're gonna have quite a lot of them hold on pause destroy that uh, shit really okay destroy that as well I'd like to really upgrade both of these now I can replace the station down passenger station large station They'll be plopped down again, but so it's fine. And then again, another passenger station. Great. There we go. Road. Improved. Shit, really? Please tell me one six hundred thousand. No, sixty-one thousand. That's fine. So there we go. I am overextending myself, but screw it. So passengers are there, they're waiting. The line's been upgraded. Line four needs to be upgraded as well. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Let me take a look at the line manager. Incoming. One more supposedly incoming before it gets sold. There we go, we sold the last one of those. So line four is full. Unfortunately, these won't work at their full potential because they should be able to go at much faster speeds. There we go. Upgrading is not the most fun, but it does, it is required anyway, so fuck it. And now then the two bus stops. I'm going to try to keep them exactly in the same place or as close as possible to the same place. Now we need to get back a little bit of cash because we're... Uh... So line 5 is new of course, so it is in the minus, but uh, I believe that should crank up pretty pretty quickly. And who else? Where else? So that is that. And then... Uh, shit, 
shit, that cost me fortune. Damn it. Sometimes you can upgrade without destroying stuff, and unfortunately sometimes no. Since I'm still not making a ton of cash, I shouldn't do it now, but... I'm trying to get him to go a little bit faster. I should have maybe just spent upgrading the outer roads. Because I could clearly do that much easier without really the hassle. That's 42,000. Why? Are you going to be playing stupid on me now? Terrainment. Ah, because it's expanding into the... God damn it. Fine, fine. So upgrade. Now you can upgrade that. And then you can give me this damn road. Because if they go 90 kilometers an hour, the, the, the trucks, and I can't use them, then it's completely pointless. They want another route now. Which isn't the most ideal, but I forgot to pause it. Never mind. So there we have it. So back to 76. What We're still somehow technically losing money. And the one that's losing money is Route 5, which is unfortunate. But I could move from, some, from Route 5 to Route 2, technically. Yeah. Hold on. Just put play, because we're still not oversaturating there, so you can go to line 2. And I believe you're empty. You can go to line 2 as well. Roads. I'm still not making money here. Theoretically, I'm still not profitable because I'm still losing 160. I'm still losing a little bit. Not so much, though. I should start to, to start making some cash. Unfortunately, I'm losing 300 thou because of the because of the interest. What happened to line five? I thought I uh, really the, the the speed changed so much. So everyone's profitable now. Somewhat, except the line that I upgraded the most. Can't do bus lanes, I still can't afford them yet. May. Look at him move, man. Look at him just fly around where they need to go. That is so cool. Line 3 needs someone. I'll switch you to line 3 then. Line 3 is full. Oh, we're finally making some monies. Wow, and line 5 was supposed to be pretty high, and it's only at 38. Line 2 is going very well. There we go, we got a little bit of cash. Twenty-five. Why is it so low? Line five. So far, so good. Just still gonna enjoy this. If there's no hurry again. You gotta be patient when you're doing this. So what we could, of course, do the moment we start getting a little bit more money, now we're starting to be profitable. We're going to be scaling it up, so we know line 3 requires a little bit more. So the next guy that comes in for line 3 is... 
Or we could buy a road vehicle directly. If we can afford it. 274, set line, line 3. Or, because you see the moment they fill up, then we know that we can add. So probably line 4 is going to need one soon as well. It's 64 from 72. So that's probably going to fill up soon. So I can chuck that in as well. So what are we making? 100, 200, 300, around 300,000, so we're somewhat covering just our loan. Uh, line 1 is full, so we need another vehicle for Line 1. It's not the most efficient because I'm having faster cars, but uh, it's still maximum speed is 60 of the other cars, but it's fine. 200, 300, so we're now covering our loan. Plus, we're making uh, around 100,000 income, which is fine. But from then on, it should only go up. So, And we have a good margin of error. Also, line 2 is nearly full as well. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick with these buses for now. And then, because it's 12 to 15, and then replace them in one shot. At least I somehow keep the, the speed. And I can have the quantity much more. I don't know. I don't know what could be. Could be an option. How much we need? 157. There we go. So line one, for sure, it was full. So we'll shove them onto line one. And who else? I think someone else. Yeah, line three. Line three requires another one. We need just a little bit more money. Sixty-two thousand. Line three. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it. There we go. And then set line. Line three. So far, it's fine. Line five might need one a little bit. It's eighty-five from one hundred and five. Nearly getting full. So yeah. Uh, that being said, I think I'm gonna do the same thing with the uh, with the fuel. And the resources, honestly, because I have them here. I could ship them down to there. But the only problem is that I'm going to need to upgrade all the roads to six lanes before I even try something like that. Because otherwise I'm probably going to be swamped with traffic here. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Honestly, I don't. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to spend a little bit of time upgrading the, the roads. And uh, to get them as efficient as possible. And also, if I upgrade them now, I can technically do the stuff for much cheaper. Uh, and I don't have to, like, demolish buildings and stuff. Not as many yet. Because if they upgrade a little bit more, then I run out of stuff. Because they're going to get closer to the road. So at least this way I can I can upgrade the road to something a little bit better. But I need some cash to, of course, do that. So let's uh, let's be a little bit more patient. I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to try to finish off at least this, this row. Line 4 requires uh, another, another bus. Maybe I'll go with that, honestly, first. Again, of course, the, the higher income I get, the much better. So let's try to focus on that. Since I'm going to go with the smaller buses for now. And then probably replace them later. It was probably stupid to go with the quicker ones now. It's just a waste. It's nearly double the cost for just two extra passengers. But it is the speed, though. So it does... If you consider there's two extra passengers, but it's at around nearly 30% faster. So it's uh, somehow the same, no? But yeah... So here we have it. Inc money is coming in. Uh, we need more, 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 more. We should be able to do it. Line four it is. Come on, come on. We're nearly there. We need only 157, which should be quick. 143. 400. Wow, the other lines are filling up pretty quick as well. Like, really quick. So, this was line 4, I believe. Line 4. 
And uh, we're going to start filling up the other lines. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part. We're going to be continuing this sort of bus frenzy and we're going to see what we're going to lead to. We're going to expand it like crazy. And I'm going to try to get to Seattle and uh, McKellen connected here as well. McKellen, McKellen. Can't even pronounce the damn thing. And uh, Salam is a little bit far. Elizabeth, El Elizabeth far. Fort Wayne could be connected in as well. And uh, let's go on from there. So see you guys in the next episode. Bye.